Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the third episode of the third season of Gochumon wa Usagi Deska. And the last episode was a pretty fun one, because we had some girls becoming amazing phantom thieves with like cards and poses and stuff. Some making children dreams come true. Once, you, once she actually perfected the art of being that phantom thief. And then Goku just kind of showing up and trying to steal the spotlight. We also had some childhood friend test of courage bonding, which was also quite nice. So a lot of good stuff last episode, I would say. I'm pretty eager to get into this next episode because I love this show. So let's, let's, let's do that. Three, two, one, play. Just starting off with our relaxing music and scenery. Oh, is that a... Was that Ao, Aoyama? I haven't really seen her much lately, but... It might have been her. <laughs> uh, I understood her perfectly. Pika Pika and Aishan. It's, it's a work in progress. It's a hard thing to do. I, I understand well. Yeah, they get along quite well. It's nice to see. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, could you imagine such a thing? You're going to the... <laughs> you're going to the same school as... <laughs> Cocoa, that's... Should be, should be obvious. But yeah, she just zoomed on over there. Oh, you there? Oh, you there? As Yubi would say. Wow, Chino as a high schooler. Could you, could you imagine that at all? You know, I moved my lamp closer to me so I could actually have half decent lighting. And now I just have half my face shrouded in darkness. And now I have the issue kind of bumping it with my leg. I just kind of wish I had like a professional lighting setup, but that's it's not going to happen. Very warm and fluffy opening. No shortage of uh, a Chino Coco stuffy too. The opening definitely has that that going for it. Hey, here we go. We're at school. Okay. Sure, that could be fun. I think deep down Chino's decided. <laughs> uh, if a school doesn't have that as a standard grading, it's not worth going to. <laughs> uh, so elegant. You fit right in. <laughs> it's not for everyone, I suppose. But, but the Goki Genyo, the... I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't be left out. Is that a thing? Jump rope game, opera house, comedy club, shaved ice, 
So basically just suggestions. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, I, I like this. Uh, did somebody just flip her switch? <laughs> oh no. Oh wow, they're fired up. That's a great shot though. Yeah. It, it's, does that seriously say sex museum? I, are we just gonna not talk about that? Wow. <laughs> I clearly should watch the anime. Very relevant. I like how they're praising each other, that's a nice touch. <laughs> These two are amazing together. The combo that no one can truly handle. Yeah, that's... That's a good way to go about it. What's up? <laughs> oh. I, I'm sure you'll be fine. You have cocoa. It'll, everything will be fine. Oh, no. Uh, we haven't even really started yet. Let's Let's settle down a bit. Yeah, good job, Kokoa. She always knows just what to do. That make me feel better, I'll tell you that. Understandable. Well, yeah. I lost writing on this. <laughs> walk, walk, and mofu, mofu. Very nice of them. <laughs> uh. Gina always thinking. All right. <laughs> oh no. Because you're 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 very much mofo mofo, and that was half of what Kokoa said. So, yeah, definitely don't want to definitely want to think hard about what you do here. That's a tragedy. I don't touch it. <laughs> oh, that was a powerful pouty face. I saw it too. Can't fool me. Yeah, that's the other part of the episode. Drying her hair after the bath. Very nice. This is your chance. I have an advertiser school tour. Yeah, how? How? Does it have a lot of animals? I mean, her school, I'm sure, is fine. No, you can't be doing that, Chino. You... <laughs> you can't separate from Cocoa. You can't ruin this for her. Uh... <laughs> oh god, these two. Oh, my heart can't take it. Uh, can I just watch that scene again real quick? I probably would if my reaction form I didn't rely on people syncing up their own copy to it. I probably would. <laughs> uh, that is one impressive building for sure. But it can't hurt us. Let's go inside. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will be very nice and welcoming. Is she? 
It's been a while since I've seen the previous seasons, I'll be honest. <laughs> She's seriously taking notes. I, I mean, they certainly can be, yeah. Meeting Coco has certainly changed her life quite a bit. Are we going to show something on the projector? What the heck? A wanted poster? <laughs> oh, okay, so she's lost. Okay, I get it now. She's lost. We gotta find her. Okay, I was a little bit confused for a second. It's like, did she commit a crime? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah. What if she doesn't want to get used to it? <laughs> yeah, her Ojo Sama version. That'd be something. Come on, give us your best Coke again, yo. <laughs> Wind intensifies. Wow, that was a thing that just happened. <laughs> I mean, it was forced, but it was still kind of cute. Very silly. I just like how the wind just intensified in that moment. Maybe we should check on her. Of course, her childhood friend would know best. Maybe she was captured by, by a student here. Oh, I think that might be her back there. <laughs> uh, okay, I think we didn't quite connect here. And now we're the last ones. I still can't unhear Rem when she speaks. Low Dark Club. Okay. Oh yeah, that's Riza. <laughs> they really do say it. As expected of Riza. Riza, I'm lost. Help me find my friends, please. <laughs> you did it. You did it very well. Yeah, can you help me find them? They're short, so they're hard to find. This is unfamiliar territory to me. <laughs> I don't think that happened. What else would you be thinking about as when she walks through the halls of school? Just keeps going. <laughs> now it clicked. We didn't. We didn't sneak into the school. Uh, my God, Shadow, Shadow, Shardy, whatever your name was. We're not trespassing. Just listen to what we're saying. Not everyone's a phantom thief like you. But hey, we got uniforms, let's try them on. Hey, that's a face of a girl that wants to try it on. And there we go. Actually does look pretty good in it, I, I must say. As do you, I didn't mean to exclude you. Now we're, we're definitely look like high schoolers now. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah, even though it's not exactly like bright girly colors, it still looks just really nice overall. <laughs> this is really cute. I love this. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> yeah, you know, this. Probably. But they didn't bite? <laughs> okay. Jeez, she's good. Oh wow, that's that's great. Yeah, let's go. That sounds wonderful. We really are getting the grand tour of this school today. Yeah, this is Ojo Sama right here. This is the experience. <laughs> really? Fire versus sparkles and flowers, who wins? This is how wars begin. <laughs> Somebody answer this girl. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, I see she's changed. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, so she should she deliberately let her continue to believe this. I mean, this is the kind of thing Riza lives for, right? So. Alright, here we go. I don't know, and I don't care. Let's go. Very important intel gathering. <laughs> She's a girl that enjoys life. And we've definitely div dived into this one. Yeah, maybe you're more cut off with this school than you thought you were. Yeah, she's just walking around in her gym uniform. Thank you for, for that. Please, <laughs> No, I think she was telling you to, yeah, look... Hey, we have our three girls back there. They're shadowed out, but I can tell it's them. And boom. <laughs> wow, we just straight up past each other. But yeah, there we go. We finally reunited. Where would have been the fun in that? Today, today was a fun day. Yeah, it definitely had influence on her. I thought it would. Uh, no, no, no bully, Riza. Like, yeah, she had a pretty good time with this school, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> their mind's just blown. But it was great being here today. Yeah, I'm sure Shadow had an adjustment period. <laughs> That's the important thing. <laughs> Yeah, you should communicate more. 
I don't. <laughs> you can't whistle your way out of that. <laughs> oh. Please make them stop bullying me with the truth. <laughs> oh, this is quite cute. I was afraid it was going that direction. But she gotta go with Cocoa. But, you know, going with Cocoa does mean being split up from them. Uh, don't, don't let the Goku Genyo lure you in. You know, you can fight it. <laughs> yeah, so much for avoiding that. I think I hear Kokua's voice. Oh, they're both here. Yeah, I heard Kokua. And she has a very distinctive voice, but... <laughs> yep, actual infiltrators now. That's... not bad either. <laughs> we are just all in uniform today. <laughs> uh, there's plenty to yay about right now. We're all having a great time today. Being no Joe Summer for a day. <laughs> uh, the amount of embarrassments sure it will be That's at least the third time she said that this episode. <laughs> yeah, everything's experience points. And today we got Ojo some experience points. The most valuable of all experience points. <laughs> it's nice to have an episode so focused on our our trio. The show just cleanses my soul as I watch it. It's a, it's a fantastic latte art there. I think she's still working on that. A potential everyday life. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Like, you know, I know what Nichijou means, but what does it mean, like, potential? I mean, I don't know. I will, we'll figure out next time. So, yeah, that was the third episode of the third season of Gochumon wa Usagi Deska. And this episode, yeah, high school was the theme, you know? We we have our three girls who are, you know, I guess, going to graduate and go to high school in the near future. And they have kind of a big decision to make, you know? Which one do they go to? As far as Chino goes, of course, Cook was championing her to go to her school so they could stay together. You know, the One-chan little sister together happiness plan that she's got going on. She kind of wants that to, to be a thing. But Chino, you know, Chino's kind of considering maybe going to the, that other school, you know, Riza Riza's school. 
you know, especially because we got like the other two girls, Megu and Maya, who were kind of thinking about it. Well, initially it was only Megu that was thinking about it. But yeah, the episode was mostly focused on them visiting Riza School. I don't remember the name of it. And so they could check that out because they had like a visitor's day. I don't remember what they called it either. My memory is terrible. But they basically get a chance to go to the school and get, you know, check it out, you know. So they had this whole presentation and stuff. So they got to so they got to learn a little bit about the school today. That was the main thing. And it was very much an Ojosama school. I mean I think we knew that before, but we got a real we got a real dive into it this episode. We got to see the wonderful uniforms, all the girls go again yoing each other. We got to see, you know, plenty of elegance all around. Just the beautiful scenery. And we actually kinda of got lost. We lot lost each other. Which just meant that we had two kind of separate adventures because we had Chino and Maya meet up with uh, Shadow, and they got to do some stuff. And then you had Megu meet up with uh, Riza, right? So they basically both got to do their own exploration of the school while trying to also kind of find each other. So the whole being separated was a good excuse to kind of just, you know, want to travel around the school, meet people, see what's up, get a feel for it. And it was quite funny how we just, they just misunderstood that they, their reasoning being here, thinking they just snuck in, like infiltrated, when really it was like an official thing they came here for. So that was a funny misunderstanding for sure. So Shadow, Shadow being Shadow is always a good thing. Yeah, the girls look great in the uniforms, for sure. I like how we somehow just started dan got, got involved in like the ballroom dancing room. Who, nobody knows how, nobody really cares how, but we did it and it was quite fun. Getting to see them all dancing, a great time for everyone. Oh yes, this is the scene where the three of them walking down the hallway, uh, Shadow, Ch Chino, and uh, Ma Maya. That was maybe the highlight of the episode. <laughs> the, the, when they were just like trying to mimic what she was doing, you know? That was that was great. I really love that scene. <laughs> that was, that was real. I don't have a lot to say about it, but that, I really did like that scene a lot. We even had tea time. We got a little bit of an, got into a bit of a bit of an argument, but you know, but that was also quite fun. Yeah, you could just tell they had a lot of fun just throughout the episode. So I'm just kind of skimming through it now. And the funny thing is though that Maya, she was the one that was the most like not into this. You know, she was the last one to agree to go as well. She only really agreed to go because everybody else was, but she was very much against this. But by the end of the episode, she realized that maybe this actually could work for her, right? And, you know, the whole scholarship thing, if that works out, that'd be a good thing. So, yeah, by the end of the, by the, end of the episode, I'd say her mind got pretty pretty heavily changed. I liked how Riza and Shadow kind of took it as a joke initially. But no, she is, she is serious about coming here, which is great. But yeah, a lot of great embarrassments from certain characters this episode, like Maya and that scene. But yeah, we eventually all just kind of came back together. Even even uh, Chia and uh, Kokua kind of got there at the end. You know, why are they here? Why, why, why not? So, yeah, they, we, we got to see pretty much all of them in the uniform. We got to see Riza in the gym uniform, which is always a always a nice thing. But yeah, lots of sparkles and bubbles and happiness and smiles and blushing and cuteness. Just everything I want in an episode, I think we got pretty well here. As well as just a lot of fun infiltrating us unknown school shenanigans throughout the episode. A lot of great stuff. So, yeah, I don't think we got a straight answer out of Chino where she was going by the end of the episode. Obviously, she has a lot more reason to go to the school than she did before because both of her friends are now. And she also got to experience what a fun place it is. But Kokua does want her to go to the other school, right? So, you know, I guess we'll have to wait and see what she ends up, what she decides to do. Okay, so I wasn't sure if the subs were just messing with me or not. So I went back to the... The part of the episode where Kokua and Chia were first announced to be like the leaders of the school festival thing, right? We saw the blackboard with all these suggestions on it, and Sex Museum was one of them, and that surprised me a little bit, so I made sure to take a good look at that blackboard and, I, yeah, to see where that was, and I found it, and looked it up at a Japanese dictionary. And yeah, it says Sex Museum, you know, it's a museum that displays erotic arts, this is okay, that, that apparently was on the blackboard. It only had one vote, but probably the person that suggested it, but, you know, maybe maybe it'll win next time. So, yeah, that was a thing. It's right next to the jump rope one, although I guess if you can't read Japanese, it doesn't help much, but it's it's near the far right. Like it's, it's, uh, So there's only two more to the right of to the it, right? It's got like a dot above it, but anyway, yeah, that's, that, is, that is on the blackboard. That was not like a meme or a lie or anything. That is what it says. So that's that. Just nobody brought it up, though, but... Could you imagine if that won? You know, considering the kind of show this is, that would that would be interesting to say the least. 
So anyway, I think that's pretty much everything I want to say on the episode. We had a lot of great stuff this time, getting to visit the school, you know, recess school, shadow school. A very beautiful school it was. Like, really can't blame anyone. I really can't blame Chino if she decides to go here, but I don't really want her to be separated from Koku either, so we'll just, we'll see what she ends up deciding in the end. As long as she's happy, that's really what, really what matters, right? So, yeah. And also, I didn't really talk about it, but yeah, the scene with the hair drying with the towel where she was kind of teasing her. That was a great scene, too. I just wanted to, I kind of want to end off on that. So, let's end here. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoki and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.